whether you friends or unwinding after a long day at work. Physical fitness is a necessity of life. Essentially, the human body needs to exercise to survive. And the real enjoyment comes from the different ways of achieving it. With the changing of the times, fitness has become not only a common pastime, but a between gyms with such as protein bars and shakes, new forms of exercise like yoga and Pilates, the idea of getting fit is much more than just a walk in the park. How is this ancient Chinese culture shaping up? Let's go. <laughs> what? <laughs> wow! <laughs> what a great way to get some exercise! I love China these days. There's so many, such a variety of ways to exercise here now, both old and new. With these changes in our lifestyle, I China, you and I are going to go find how China's shaping up. Let's go! I enjoy the freedom when I fall and uh, when oh. I out. So, how come you like to rock climb? In their nature. It's always challenging and continuously you break through and is facing yourself. And I have learned a lot, only the skills. But Like when you're scared? Yeah. <laughs> how do you can handle it? Yeah. yeah. And if you fall, you're okay. Yeah. <laughs>我觉得就是不在于花钱的这个多少因为在深圳呢生活节奏也比较快我们工作的压力都特别的大那么我觉得来健身呢一个是舒缓一下精神上的压力第二个呢深圳到处都是空调房这样我可以出出汗对我的
general sense of overall well-being from the endorphins released in our brain. When you exercise, it should be fun with family and friends. Make it nice and easy, but always have a little bit of a challenge. I really need to work on my swing. What do you think? As I'm going in and out of these fitness centers and gym clubs, I'm noticing a large variety of different things that the Chinese people can do for fitness. They can take aerobics classes, they can take yoga classes, different Yoga is probably becoming one of the more popular uh, exercises to do, partly because the whole wellness concept is becoming much more popular. We're seeing spas open up, we're seeing protein shakes made, we're having fruit juice for breakfast instead of coffee. It's a very large uh, change of life, change of lifestyle. It's very interesting to see. Upon her first time taking a class, the vital energy a passion in the ancient art, she fell in love with the serenity within the movements and knew it was her destiny. Namaste. Namaste. So can you tell me a little bit about what yoga is? The yin Some people ask me, it's a, it's a religion? I don't think it's a religion. I don't think yoga is a, it's not perfect pose, not competition, not who holds the pose for longest. Everyone doing yoga is a completely different. When students come to my class, mm -hmm. just uh, how do I get, just ask me, how do I get in shape? Uh. How do I can lose weight? Uh. Maybe, may, maybe three or four, Months later, then told uh, my student told me, "Wow, yoga is a uh, not just uh, physical. Yeah, yeah, something in your in your mat. Right. Yeah. When you breath, uh, when you of the breath and uh, move, you can turn off the brain." Sue finds that yoga is more about looking deeper into oneself. During practice, energy is focused on the elegance of the body's positioning and the breath that accompanies it in a constant pursuit of synchronicity between body and spirit. Part of yoga's popularity in China may be due to the peaceful sense of well-being achieved throughout the practice. Yoga, meaning union, is a practice of mind-body integration, which allows for the development of strength endurance, flexibility, and balance. The practice of yoga poses aid in developing the body by toning sized our breathing techniques and massages to improve the circulation of blood and nutrients in the body, which is essential to health. Yoga may also relieve some irregularities in our vital organs, in turn, benefiting us by keeping away disease. Second millennium BC from India. In China, yoga developed into what is called Sao Nin Chuan, and later, into the now commonly seen Tai Chi. With yoga being the root of an ancient art form still treasured, perhaps the Chinese people find comfort today in revisiting part of its sacred history. Everybody growing cities. The pace of life is much quicker with its lights. Comes the demand. 
At this day and age, our lifestyle is becoming more fast-paced than ever. We have cell phones to answer, emails to respond to. We're trying to balance career with family, with social life, and get at least two minutes to ourselves. We may be living, but I do have to ask the question, are we really happier? A group of young, well-educated urban economic elites, or yuppies, has been emerging in China. At a relatively young age, these individuals carry much responsibility for their company, their family, and their futures. Zhang Ho is one of these individuals who keeps her head up high while taking on the world. She owns I think that health care is a 